Welcome to my channel Medicine Guide. Hydrocortisone tablets are a steroid medication that decreases inflammation, slows down an overactive immune system or replaces the cortisol hormone that helps your body respond to stress. It treats several conditions including asthma, allergic reactions, arthritis, and inflammatory bowel diseases. In this video, we will discuss what is this medication, its precautions and interactions. So let's start, but before that please subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide. What is this medication? Hydrocortisone treats many conditions such as asthma, allergic reactions, arthritis, inflammatory bowel diseases, adrenal, and blood or bone marrow disorders. It works by decreasing inflammation, slowing down an overactive immune system, or replacing cortisol normally made in the body. Cortisol is a hormone that plays an important role in how the body responds to stress, illness, and injury. It belongs to a group of medications called steroids. This medicine may be used for other purposes. Ask your healthcare provider or pharmacist if you have questions. Common brand name, S. Cortef, Hydrocortone, now have a look on. What precautions should be taken before taking this medication? Tell your doctor if you have any of these conditions. Cushing syndrome, diabetes, glaucoma, heart problems, or disease, high blood pressure, infection like herpes, measles, tuberculosis, or chickenpox, kidney disease, liver disease, mental health disease, myasthenia, gravis, osteoporosis, previous, heart attack, seizure, stomach or intestine problems, thyroid problem, an unusual or allergic reaction to hydrocortisone, corticosteroids, other medications, lactose, foods, dyes, or preservatives, pregnant or trying to get pregnant, breastfeeding, what may interact with this medication, do not take this medication with any of the following, Mifepristone, RU486, vaccines. This medication may also interact with the following, antibiotics like clarithromycin, erythromycin, and troliandomycin. Aspirin and aspirin-like medications, barbiturates like phenobarbital, ketoconazole, phenytoin, rifampin, warfarin, what should be observed while using this medication, visit your care team for regular checks on your progress. If you are taking this medication over a prolonged period, carry an identification card with your name and address, the type and dose of your medication, and your doctor's name and address. This medication may increase your risk of getting an infection. Stay away from people who are sick. Tell your doctor if you are around anyone with measles or chicken pox. If you are going to have surgery, tell your doctor that you have taken this medication within the last 12 months. Ask your doctor about your diet. You may need to lower the amount of salt you eat. This medication may increase blood sugar. Ask your doctor if changes in diet or medications are needed if you have diabetes. What side effects may I notice from receiving this medication? Side effects that you should report to your doctor as soon as possible. Allergic reactions, skin rash, itching, hives, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. Cushing syndrome, increased fat around the midsection upper back, neck, or face, pink or purple stretch marks on the skin, thinning, fragile skin that easily bruises, unexpected hair growth, high blood sugar, hyperglycemia, increased thirst or amount of urine, unusual weakness or fatigue, blurry vision, increase in blood pressure, infection, fever, chills, cough, sore throat, Wounds that don't heal, 
pain or trouble when passing urine, general feeling of discomfort or being unwell, low adrenal gland function, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, unusual weakness or fatigue, dizziness, mood and behavior changes, anxiety, nervousness, confusion, hallucinations, irritability, hostility, thoughts of suicide or self-harm, worsening mood, feelings of depression, stomach bleeding, bloody or black, tar-like stools, vomiting blood or brown material that looks like coffee grounds, swelling of the ankles, hands, or feet, side effects that usually do not require medical attention, report these to your care team if they continue or are bothersome, acne, general discomfort and fatigue, headache, increase in appetite, nausea, trouble sleeping, weight gain. That's enough for this video. If you want to watch more videos like this, please keep watching my channel. Disclaimer. Channel's intention to make this video is for informational purposes only. Consult your doctor or healthcare provider for use of any medicine or for query of any disease. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide.